Daily Mail, one of my favourite G-Wizzery speculations has a new iteration. Indeed. Are we living in a simulation? A physicist claims he has new evidence we're simply characters in an advanced virtual world. This is, of course, essentially the plot of The Matrix. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, basically, because... I can't explain this in any way. I've really, <laughs> I really tried. I read Do you want me to have a go at it? Yeah. yeah I, I, think I, was, was, I was reading this earlier, and again now I'm thinking Simon's going to fill his Can book. I just say one thing? <laughs> it does say, to put it simply, everything appears to evolve in an equilibrium state where the information content is missed. That's not simply! <laughs> so go, please. Roughly speaking, he says that you can think of all the matter in the world, all the atoms that contain, you know, contain within the Earth, at least in terms of information, in terms of bits, and how many bits of information actually in the world of computers Computing we've created in the time that computing has been around since the mid 70s and when you see the acceleration and the amount of information we're creating all the time and how much more complicated it's getting it won't be very much longer before we could create reality such as we see it and which then, goes and against then you would, the second and then you law of, be in it. second law of thermodynamics which means yes. which, which something that's broken couldn't be put back together yes. which is essentially what that would be doing so all these things that have been taken apart could be put back together oh so I uh, still don't get yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. it it does feel a bit it does like the only thing I would say is it doesn't feel to me like it's a particularly new insight it's just a slightly different way of, of expressing it but it's the, the same basic idea that has led to people thinking there's a simulation hypothesis is that if it were possible that a simulation could be created at some point in the future, then the odds that that's what we're living in become almost like a, a, you know, a trillion to one that we are, because, because there would be so many simulations that we're much more likely to be living in one of those than in the other. I have definitive proof that we're not living in a simulation. Go ahead. Because your explanation was so painful for me that there was, there's no way that... Uh, there, the, the, there, the, the there, there were more painful things in, the, in life than myself. <laughs> this is like the old I refute it, that's kicking the stone. Anyway, I find it intriguing. There are, if people are interested, there's a great uh, uh, film on YouTube about it uh, called The Simulation Hypothesis. About, Do you think it's... about an hour long, and it, it makes some very plausible explanations, not least quantum entanglement, which becomes solved immediately. Oh, I know about that. Is yeah. it just me, or does it feel like science is looking for God when they do these things? <laughs> it does a little bit. To me, it feels yeah. like, you know, they, they, there isn't a God to them, yeah. so they're just trying to find something that would replace That's God. That's the play, yes. isn't it? Mate, yes, yeah. the hard... The what hard are all questions are at bottom theological questions.